Well, a shoe store in Grand Rapids on the southeast side is offering a variety of products that can't be found anywhere else. Now they can't be found at all. Businesses might have to business might have to close its doors, not because of the pandemic, but because thieves stole merchandise on Monday. While the owner has insurance, he says it won't be enough to cover the market value of the limited edition footwear that he sells. Our Julie Dunmire explains the challenge that he's facing to now take a step forward. Broken through here. Daniel Braden feels defeated. We had two more cameras that were right here were taken down. He has every right to. Just started ramsacking and grabbing everything they can. This person, one of three, suspected of stealing from his store, seemingly taking things at random. I think it's someone that's been in here. I don't think it's someone that's like a avid customer. They made it off with expensive stuff. You see, the clothing and shoes at Hemmed on 29th Street are worth much more than retail prices. There's a lot of value. Like, there's some shoes that you can get for $110 and we will give you $1,000 for that shoe. But the worst part is most of what was taken is now entirely useless. But the main thing they took was thousands and thousands of dollars worth of just one shoe, the right shoe. That's right. They only have one half of the pairs of shoes. It's just ignorant. Daniel says his customers are keeping him going. That's the other thing that hurts is um, we give thousands and thousands of dollars a week to local customers that buy items and sell it to us. And we put po money in people's pockets anywhere the age from eight. P like people will bring their kids here. We give them money um, eight to 60 years old. But his store full of irreplaceable items will take time to rebuild. It sucks. Like the money is what, you know, drives us and lets me do this. But uh, it's more just feeling, you know, violated, attacked. And just in Grand Rapids, Julie Dunmire, Fox 17 News. And Daniel says he's hopeful because of the uniqueness of the items that were stolen, that he'll be able to track people down who may own them. If you have any information, you can contact GRPD. As